Hey ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Carlos is joining me today. How are you doing guys? And in today's video we're going to be taking a closer look at two fragrances by the company Mansara. They are Sicily and Red Tobacco. I do want to mention that we've actually or I have done a review of Sicily with my good friend Gary and we also did a first impression of Red Tobacco so this will be more of a formal review. I also do want to mention that if you stay tuned until the end of the video you will get a 25% off code on crystal fragrance that you can use to redeem on any Montal or Mancera purchase. And also one person is gonna win a, a 50 ml bottle of a Montal of your choice from a list provided to you. So stay tuned. So Crystal Fragrance is a new seller. So it's a new store that's uh, in Montana. Yes. Now they don't have a brick and mortar store uh, just because as you would imagine, it's quite cold in Montana and perhaps there isn't that much of a clientele up there that's really into niche fragrances, but they do sell online. They said that they get a lot of traffic in the summer when the weather gets a little mm -hmm. bit warmer outside. A lot of tourists. Mm -hmm. And the owner of the company, her name is Crystal, and she actually founded this company a couple of years ago when unfortunately uh, her husband was in a car crash in 2017. Uh, the car was totaled and she wanted to get into the business of selling perfume so that she can make a car payment. It's only then that she realized that this was the best job that she's ever had <laughs> and she's been selling perfumes online ever since. So she does carry a lot of fragrances uh, that are niche fragrances that are very beloved in the community. She does a lot of giveaways on Instagram. She very active oh, nice. in the community and she's really really generous and she feels that she really wants to go out of her way for each and every customer and it's just makes her happy to run her business that way and she gets a lot of joy out of that and the people are responding and saying a lot of great things about it oh, that's business. amazing that's really sweet i do want to mention if i may how this came about of course it was a sub a mutual sub of ours bfl and red lessons he wanted to help her with her business because he was so happy with her service and what she's doing for everyone. She wanted to give a little highlight with two of his favorite reviewers being That's us. Really sweet. That's and he nice. sent her money to send us products. So thank you, If the Car. That was very, very generous and kind of you. We thank you and Crystal thanks you. Yeah, thank you so much for doing that. We appreciate that. So two fragrances that we have here, they're called Sicily and Red Tobacco. And of course, the one that's more appropriate for the summer is Sicily. Yes. So let's go ahead and talk about Red Tobacco first and we'll save the summer one for last. Sure. So Red Tobacco is a fragrance that I fell in love with at Beverly Hills Perfumery. I tried <laughs> it for the first time and I fell like head over heels in love with it. I didn't get a chance to purchase it there though. Yeah. yeah. So I was trying a lot of other things and there were so many Tiziana Terenzi I was sampling and I was really excited about that cuz I heard they were coming out and I was I was like, "Oh, you got them." I was so happy <laughs> when he when he had them there, Alan. Yeah, I know. And so I finally have a bottle, so thank you very much. And my goodness, this is such a great tobacco base scent. Yes. So you have the tobacco, the cinnamon, the vanilla, you have the amber, the patchouli, the agarwood. It's a very dense blend. And there's also something fruity about it in the opening too. So I wasn't sure what it was. I did look it up online and it says that there's apple and pear used ah, in here with a little bit of citrus. I can't say that I get anything that smells distinctly of apple or pear. I feel like it's more about the vanilla, the tobacco, the cinnamon. Cinnamon, tobacco, vanilla. Exactly. Yeah. Um, kind of in the spice bomb kind of character. Yeah, sure. Or rehab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like this in the air a lot. I didn't like it on myself personally, but I, I don't know why. It just didn't it didn't meld with my skin well, but I love I understand. it. Sure. I love it on others really a lot. I do. Yeah. It's really, really nice. Yeah, and full disclosure, this is not something that I would wear around this time of the year just because it is very pungent, it's very strong, it's very dense, it packs a punch. Uh, but this is something that I would wear when the weather gets a little bit cold outside. And I also think this is good. Oh my God, perfect, for, especially because of the spices, mm -hmm. right? So whenever I think of something with like a decadent warmth and sweetness about it, vanilla always comes to mind. Vanilla is such a great pairing for like the autumnal season. Do you think this is more of like a dressed up fragrance? Uh, I, I could see this being probably a little heavy for all day at work, so yeah, nighttime, date night, yeah, club even, perhaps. 
I think so too. I think it possesses enough of that sweetness that you can pull it off in a club setting. Yeah, I don't think I would wear this at work either. Uh, and I don't think it conveys anything of a casual nature. I think it's just really formal, really refined, really polished. And I love the elements that are in here and they're utilized to such a degree. It's just awesome. And this red bottle, come on, it's you gotta so gorgeous, be kidding yeah. me. This is hot. That's a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful bottle. It's really nice, yeah. I like the, uh, the transparency of it and the cap is a little bit different from mm -hmm. the older caps. And this came out just a year before it. Yeah. So this came out in 2016. 2016, 2017. This here is also dense, but in a summery citrus and floral way. Mm. This has notes of bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin, orange. It has apple, it has pineapple, it has jasmine, it has rose, it has ylang ylang, it has musk, and it has oh my woody God. tones. Whoa, wow, my head. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Yeah. It opens up with a big wallop of citrus. Yep. It's, it's aggressively juicy, <laughs> and the peach is really there. Perhaps a little feminine in the beginning, mm. and yeah, it's also very floral as it dries down, which... To some guys may not work i love it it screams summer and warm weather it's just one of those pick me up type of fragrances but it does lean kind of sort of feminine okay i mean i can definitely see that criticism i do think it's debatable and of course perfume has no gender but the presence of the florals might encourage peach. one to say it's feminine peach, the peach too yeah peach more so for me i think mm. in, in this particular composition peach apricot it kind of gives off yeah. that because there's so many like fruity floral fragrances that rely on peach and apricot mm -hmm. and so i can definitely see what's going on in here but i think it's a combination of all that citrus in the opening like the grapefruit and the orange and the bergamot so it kind of conveys like that that nice pick me up sort of mood enhancing ability um i really enjoy that one it i don't is, own it it's not your typical fleeting you know wispy citrus it's it's hefty it's got really got some depth to it yeah I remember, so I had sprayed some of this on, might have been well over a year ago that I did my video with Gary, and the longevity mm. was superb. And so if you're looking, if you're in the market for a citrus-based scent, and you're not a fan of a lot of the designer level conventional fragrances that will get you like four to six hours, usually eau de toilette concentration, if you want something that's a little stronger, a little more tightly packed, I think Sicily is a good option for you. But do bear in mind, just like my good friend Carlos said, it does have some floral ingredients in here. And so if you're typically not a fan of floral, fragrances uh this is one that you might want to not check out i know um wild fruits is another great one for the summer yeah, right they but that's more masculine <laughs> overtly <laughs> masculine i would say or more alpha as they say sure 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 but there are listen this has a 4.31 out of 5 rating on fragrantica wow with about 150 votes so a lot of people like it not bad so now here's the big question what do you prefer this one or oud lemon mint okay I'm going to say Oud Lemon Mint only because I haven't experienced this in full wearings in mm. public atmospheres or, or settings. Yeah. So I'm going to say Oud Lemon Mint because it For has the time being. Me. Sure. But I have a feeling this one's going to grow on me and we'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like okay. it. I really do like it. It has a quality. I'm, I'll explain the florals. You know, Jour d'Hermes? Sure. It kind of smells like that. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely see it with the florals in there and everything. Although, perhaps that one is a bit more feminine. More. But, um, yeah, more yeah, so. Yeah, more so. And so, I think what I like about Red Tobacco is that it's pretty iconic of what Mencera and Montal have been yeah. putting out into the market. And so, they're pretty well known for their very rugged, over-the-top, like super, super strong. Like, it is one of the brands that has sort of established that narrative in the community of being among the strongest. And so, a lot of their fragrances last like 24 hours. And I mean, <laughs> uh, Red through, Oud through for laundry. me. Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And so, and I feel as though this kind of like follows down that same path. And so I like that it packs a punch and I like how strong it is. But once again, just not for the summertime. Yeah. Yeah. I like this one for the summer. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. And so do you I. You wouldn't wear this? I, I totally would. You I totally, totally would. would. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maybe I might, you know, end up purchasing that one. Who knows? I'll let you borrow it, brother. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. You want to Maybe get, a 10 you, you want to get, No, you got it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We really do appreciate that. And also a very special thank you to Iftikhar and Crystal for allowing this collaboration to uh, happen. So we really do appreciate that. Uh, so we want to share a code with you that you can use uh, at Crystal Fragrance. And the code is BFLRED. 
25. So if you use that code, if you decide to purchase any Montal or Mancera products, you will get 25% off your order. And also leave a comment down below. I want you to look through their website and I want you to tell me um, if you were to uh, win this giveaway, which Montal fragrance would you pick? And so I know there's a, a selected list so it's not every single Montal that they carry because maybe they have some in a 50 ml size, maybe some of them they right. don't. And so, but just check out their website and tell me if you were to win a Montal fragrance, uh, which one would it be? And we also want to specify this is for US only. And hopefully it's one of the ones that you want on that list, but I know. she's a very generous person by nature. I'm sure that a lot of it that is available, she'll offer up for giveaway. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I want to thank Crystal and Iftikhar as well. Thank you, Stephen, for doing this on of your course, channel. Thank you, my pleasure. I felt that we could have done two videos, but I think your platform is 89,000 subscribers. We need more viewers to come and give that woman some business. She's a great lady. Yeah, well, thank you, Carlos. I appreciate that. And hopefully it does drive a little bit of traffic. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Best of luck on the giveaway. If you are new to this channel, I would love it if you could subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button in the corner there. Uh, this way, whenever I do upload future content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. And of course, that does include reviews just like this, giveaways, top tens, unboxings, and a whole lot of other fragrance related content. I'm also going to be leaving a link to my friend, uh, Carlos's channel down below. Charlie, you can call me Charlie. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie as well. Uh, that link's going to be down below too. So definitely subscribe to him. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We love you. And we'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.